Hey there, Wargamers, and welcome back to another War Games Delivered video. Be sure to visit us at wargamesdelivered.com to get the paints, miniatures, and supplies used in this video, and also to refer a friend. You guys will both get a $15 discount, and with that, let's get into the video. In this two-part video series, we'll be painting a Stark Outrider Cavalry model from a Song of Ice and Fire miniatures game with this video being part one, focusing on the horse. With this model, I did a zenithal base coat from black to gray to white to see how the newer speed paint works with more of a slap chop style of basing. Uh, starting out with Occultist Cloak, this is going to be the fur color of our horse. I'm using about a two to one speed paint to medium mix here to thin it down and get better coverage and flow across these larger areas. You'll see me go back to my palette to add more paint pretty often. This is just to keep the speed paint consistent across each area. If you have a larger brush that can come to a fine point, that would be the best tool to use here. With that dry, it gave us a nice dark blackish blue for a fur tone on the horse. Now we can move on to the reins, and for this we'll want to use Satchel Brown to create a nice dark leather color for these spots. Make sure to not have too much paint on your brush and try to cover the whole area in one motion for the best results. Also be careful around the areas we've already painted with a cultist cloak. And also while you're filling this in, try to leave the rings between the reins blank for now. We'll come back in a later step to cover those up with a metallic speed paint. Up next, we will move on to painting all of the hair of the horse using Grim Black, paint the tail and mane and the hooves of this color to contrast the occultist cloak. This speed paint can stain other areas pretty easily, so make sure to keep good control with your brush around the other areas we've already painted. And if you do make any mistakes, just clean up with your base coat color before fixing with the speed paint. If you're interested in trying out each of these paints for yourself, we have a pre-order for the Speed Paint 2.0 Mega Set linked in the description below near the paint list. And while you're there, be sure to refer a friend and get a quick $15 discount for yourself and your friend before your order. The uh, pre-order ends on the 22nd, so there's still plenty of time to get your orders in before that deadline. And back to the video, uh, with the new Grim Black, you can get a solid black color out of it with two to three thin coats, uh, if that's what you're going for. Now we only have a few steps left, so we'll switch over to Aged Hide for the pad between the saddle. And this is a nice deep orangish pink color, uh, which should contrast with the satchel brown we used on the reins quite nicely. You'll see me use a base coating brush and a fine detail brush in this clip because it has some larger areas and some very small hard to reach spots, so always be sure to have uh, some options to make your life easier when you're painting. We are also restarting our Instagram story contest soon, so be sure to follow us there at Wargames Delivered and uh, send us your entries for a chance to win even more prizes. Next up, we have some smaller fur areas poking out underneath the rider on the saddle, so we'll use bony matter to fill those spots in. This is a great pale bone color uh, that is perfect for textured furs as well as bone. And just like with the aged hide, uh, there are some smaller areas, so we'll be switching back and forth between the brushes uh, as well in these shots, uh, using again a precise detail brush and a base coating brush. For our final few steps here, we're going to be using the Speed Paint Metallics using Talos Bronze first. We're going to paint all of the rings within the reins with this color. I also used about two coats of the Talos Bronze for a nice even finish and a darker color on the rings. And you may have noticed I saved the metallic steps uh, for last. 
I find it's much easier to finish the regular speed paints first uh, and then use your metallics second just to avoid contaminating your paint water and your brush. And lastly, we'll move over to Broadsword Silver to paint some of the rivets on the reins. In the next video, we'll be using this paint quite a bit, so having a little bit on the horse as well will sort of unify the entire piece. I actually haven't painted too many mounted units, uh, but as a quick test scheme of the speed paints, I was very pleased with how this one turned out. Uh, be sure to check back for part two in this video series where we'll finish off the rider of this model and finish our first cavalry model on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more painting tutorials. And also be sure to uh, check out the top link in the description for the giveaway attached to this video. Thanks again, guys, and happy wargaming.